Welcome to Knowledge Management with ServiceNow. This video is intended for anyone with access to create knowledge articles in the ServiceNow knowledge base. Knowledge articles are pieces of knowledge such as user guidelines, company policies, training videos, or release notes. To create a new knowledge article, First, navigate to the Blackhawk Self-Service application, select the Knowledge module, and then click the Create Article icon. Note that the number field is read-only and auto-assigned. This field contains a unique number for identifying and tracking each knowledge article. Select the knowledge base where your article will live. Knowledge Base is a role-based reference field, so you will only be able to see knowledge bases that you have access to. Likewise, users looking to find your article will only be able to find it if they have access to that knowledge base. If you do not see the knowledge base you're looking for, it may be because you do not have the necessary role. For more information about roles, please contact your system admin. Knowledge Base is a mandatory field and must be populated to create a new knowledge article. Mandatory fields are indicated by a red asterisk mark. Once the Knowledge Base field is populated, it becomes possible to edit the Category field. Categories are predefined for each Knowledge Base. You must select a Knowledge Base before you can select a category. Depending on the category selected, some knowledge bases have new advanced templating features. If your team uses templates, select the template after having chosen a knowledge base. For more information about templates, contact your ServiceNow admin. The Published and Valid To fields should not be edited. These values are auto-populated by the system. Published shows the article's date of publish. This value is first set when the article is created and later updated when the article is published. Again, this field should not be edited. Valid2 shows the article's expiration date. When an article expires, or if the valid2 date is empty, the article can no longer be found by users. Again, this field should not be edited. Article type defaults to HTML. Do not change this value unless you have been otherwise instructed. The workflow field shows the current state of the article. This field is read-only and cannot be edited. When knowledge articles are created from other records, such as incidents, the source field will be auto-populated with the number of that record. Otherwise, the source field remains empty. Please leave the source field blank unless you have a specific source record to link the article to Select the Attachment Link checkbox if you would like users to automatically download attachments. To add an attachment, drag and drop or select the paperclip icon in the header of your content pane. Select the Display Attachments checkbox if you would like users to click into an article first and then download attachments at will. Give your article a title by filling in the short description field. This title appears when browsing and searching knowledge and at the top of the article. Think about keywords others might use when searching for the information in your article. You may want to format your title as a question incorporating those keywords. The title should be easy for anyone to read. short description is a mandatory field indicated by a red asterisk mark. This field must be populated to save or update your article. If you are using a template, 
the short description field is already populated, but you will need to make edits. Replace any text enclosed in arrow brackets with your own content. For more information on using templates, contact your ServiceNow system admin. The text field contains the content of your article. This is a what you see is what you get text editor. That means the published version of your article will look like the formatting as you format it within the text field. You can select your font style and size, change the text color or background, bold, italicize, or underline text, as well as align. To create a link, first highlight the text, click the Insert Edit Link icon, and then paste your URL into the URL field. Click OK. It is also possible to insert tables and create lists, both numbered and bolded. Click the source code icon to edit in full HTML. Click the full screen icon for easier editing in full screen mode. Click the icon again to return to the standard form view. To add images to your article, click the picture icon or drag and drop files. You can also use standard keyboard shortcuts such as Control-Shift-P on Windows and Command-P on Mac. If you are using a template, do not edit the template format or headers. Replace only text enclosed in arrow brackets. For more information on using templates, please contact your ServiceNow system admin. List keywords in the meta field using a comma or space to separate the terms. The meta field is your opportunity to improve search results. Pick out the most important and relevant words from the text of your article, paying special attention to specific terms. If you are using a template, be sure to replace the sample tags in the meta field. For more information, please contact your ServiceNow system admin. After careful proofreading, your new knowledge article is ready to share. Click Publish to make it available to other users. Your article will move from the draft to review stage before it is published. Once your article has been thoroughly reviewed, the stage will change to published and the article will be available for viewing by anyone with access to the knowledge base.